also need to decide on how I'm going to be doing the layout for them, actually. <laughs> it's true, you never know. Exactly. Some people are chill with it. Other people just know so much. That's fine, though. Bouncing in your chair is so excited for this. I'm glad. But what? Don't worry about it, Pancetta. Don't worry about it. If you said hi to me earlier, it doesn't count because I didn't hear you. Hi, Kazuha! There you go. Does that count? Yeah, cool. Okay, I think as, as they have some really cool backgrounds for this that they added with the PC version. However, I kind of want to play the game like this. That's probably how I'll play it. I just want it to be all on screen as much as possible as I fucking adore this game. Mm -hmm. Everything looks good. Let's go fucking die. Yeah! I'm so ready to fucking. Marcus. And also. But that one comes later. Uh, I tried to get my controller to work with this game because I never played with a controller. Um, I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I've been having controller issues. It's fine. It's fine. But hey, why don't we get started, huh? <laughs> For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is a horror game. This is one of my favorite horror games. It's just good. It's just good. It is Catholic themed. You don't need to be Catholic to appreciate this game. Don't worry. Hold on. Is there something else I was going to do? How's the volume? I should turn it up. I think I should turn it up. Sixty-nine. There we go. Thank you for the head pat. Hi, hi, hi. If you're new here, then welcome to Faith the Unholy Trinity. We're just going to fucking begin. Let's see, I usually go through marathon mode, right? I'm kind of curious. I, the, the last time I played this game, I did the true ending. I'm wondering. Hmm. What ending do I want to get this time? I don't know. Part of me really wants to get the, like, really bad ending. Because I've never seen that ending. This is a really bad one. Me pumpkin cookies die in my name while I'm gone, please. Okay. Howard. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I should have thought about this. Completely forgot. Let's just marathon mode it. We're gonna do it. Quitting will delete my save, by the way. Wait, hold on. Oh, by the way, this was meant to be like kind of an Atari type game, right? So all you could do is move up, down, left, and right, and you have one button, and that's it. As an Atari does. You know what? Let's go through it normally, non-marathon mode, just in case I need to save or anything. That might be a better idea. Wait, I only have 16 of... 20 now. I don't want to get all the notes. We're just going to do a new game. There we go. There's also different modes I could do. Turbo, warning, jank. 
You can literally set the game to where you only have a flashlight the entire time and the rest of the game is just not lit up at all, which sounds hilarious to me. So let's just begin. Here we are. Oh, I have to hit confirm at the end. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. To get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. If you're in a hurry, hold spacebar or the action button to skip cutscenes. That is something they added recently. That's new. We weren't able to do that before. You could also get hit by a truck if you wanted. I recommend that ending. There was a part of me who really wanted to go for... There's an incredibly difficult achievement in this game called The Good Christian Boy or Good Christian Boy <laughs> where you do marathon mode and you have to beat the whole game without dying. Which sounds like hell. But I kind of wanted to try it. Sepulchre time. Hi, thank you for following. <laughs> Thanks, Garcia. And now I have a nose. You support me and my wife. Or in your efforts if it means more of your wife. Noted. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get all the- Oh fuck. Hi. I don't wanna get all the notes, but I would have to look up a guide on how to get all the notes. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just jut out in the middle of a gravel path. It is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right. Uh, Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Bartons had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Hi, Nia. That's right. Dear God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, go unwillingly. Look, man, I just dig this game's vibe. More than I... More than I would dig my own wife. It sounds weird. Let me rephrase that. They look friendly. Uh, yeah, sure. What's this? Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the deer, a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. It's fine. Well, there's your deer. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay. The dead deer they were talking about? that at all. <clears throat> Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me. Chaos does ring. I'm just gonna do a little more exploring, it's very important. Still don't like that. Bye. There's the deer. Is this the Mortis stream? Yeah. Okay, that one was close. Hi, Cookie Hurts. Welcome to the Mortis stream. Oh, here. Okay. That one kind of got me a little bit. I hope you all have been having a very good Halloween. That's right, it was Halloween. I, I cannot, I gotta be honest, I haven't really been feeling the Halloween vibes until we started playing this. I don't know, not a lot of decorations out. At least Ryan. Fuck, get out of here. Get! Everyone's busy. What is that unholy creature that keeps showing up? Uh, someone really special. He has the body of a pig, though. Dressed up the puppers. Good. That's all you need. A friend. Yeah, just a, just a friend. Jesus, no. A man named Jesus, maybe. Oh, fuck. Get out of here. Get. Hello, dear. Here, do I want to look up how to get all of the. Let me get to the house. Oh, fuck. <laughs> About that deer, Lynx. <laughs> Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home discuss compensation. Return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Michael Davies. Good old Michael Davies. Little Mikey. Am I going the right way anymore? Okay. 
here's the shed. should be, yep, okay, it's right here, so I just need to go up. Oh, hello. Cool house. nice family. Oh, and look, that's sweet Amy there in the middle. Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Martin at us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It's not the kind of look a child gives you. That's fine. Fine. That's normal. Maybe you looking smug. Maybe she's... Oh, look at this drawing that Nate drew. Isn't that nice? Not turning at all. What a cute drawing. Not alarming in any way, shape, or form. One second. What a cute kid. Right? Haha. <laughs> Super cute. Super cute. Oh, you're flashing a crux. I thought it looked like a star. Nope, not quite. I want to go upstairs real quick. It's a totally normal child drawing. Speaking of Halloween, I have a class professor almost ghost us without telling. Oh. Neat! There's blood on the floor. Favorite. Go oh, bathroom. Here we go. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. I got up there. It was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, right at me, like when I first met her downstairs. Spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help for, from the others, but nobody came, but raised my crucifix and began the rite again. That's normal. Hello, Father. Yes, my child. You're only allowed to say that because I'm playing as a priest right now. Little toys.
a weird conversation again. That, that's fair. I had a weird conversation today. Why I was late. But I'm here now. Hope your Halloween's going good. For a second, I thought that was a vape. It's not a vape. It just could be. And the father, I have been a bad girl. Nia, I have a feeling you wanted to say a different word other than father. Take my head. I think there's one note I left out in the woods. Check him. Cool attic. Oh, crib. I think you have to do it, Gobi would agree with you. He would. She absolutely would. <laughs> Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbaba. Kimbamba? Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. Kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. See. Hey. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. We asked him if he had ever prayed. He said no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time. He stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed for some, some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he can pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. Leighton, that seems like a lot of information to drop on someone who wrote a letter. But, you know, I guess they asked. Okay, we appreciate Nia. Hello. That doesn't look... <clears throat> Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Martin was hysterical. The thing that was inside Amy was beating off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, I couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. A. Oh, fuck. Back off, demon! Oh, great. Cool. Maybe he just wants a hug. Maybe she just wants a hug. You're right. It's John Grudge. Duana Grudge? Eh, you know what I mean. Oh, fuck. I get you. fuck. Please stay away from me. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was really close. That was really fucking close. Oh, shit. We almost got an early mortis. Hold on. Can I leave the house? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ah! Mortis. Damn it. We got one. I am no longer a good Christian boy. Indeed. 
Maybe Amy wants to join the stream too. I don't think I'll let her. <laughs> you bad boy. I mean, what he's about to do is not approved by the Vatican. I don't want to look at you. You could try the no death run next year. You're right. I could do it then. Okay, there's one thing I need to look for. I need to look for a puddle. The one note I'm missing. Maybe one of these graves. I might have missed this one too, actually. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestones rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Damn. Cool graves. Yeah, I could try the no death run next year. Maybe if she knew you were VTuber, she wouldn't attack. Oh. Was that the fucking twins? Let's follow. I feel like they're leading me to my death. Yeah, she would be such a huge fan of me if she knew. If she knew I was a VTuber. Should I be following? I feel like I shouldn't be following. What the fuck? How did I get back here? I don't trust these woods. I don't trust them. She would bite me. I think she would kill me. <laughs> Hello, dear. Bye, dear. I ain't following you this time. Get the hell out of here, you creepy kids. Stay off my property. Ah, here we go. Public Lecture by Carl James Osborne, Connecticut Historical Connections to Witchcraft, Satanism, and the Beast System, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Ooh, who wants to go with me? Anybody? Okay, now we need to get to the shed. I'm gonna go two screens down from this one. You guys want to go? Let's go. Let's go together, guys. I do find it all incredibly interesting. We all hold hands and go together. Yeah. I remember the time I got ritualistically sacrificed to a demon. I think it was Beezlebub, but I couldn't really understand the name. So, um, you know. That was the last time I ever went to ladies night. Let me tell you. Don't recommend it. When they say girls' night, they mean girls' night. Get two screens down from the shed. Here's the puddle. I think it's the last thing I needed. Hi, Oinkers. Welcome to Faith. <clears throat> I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Suspicious.
Now we can follow the children. I like Faith Mortis. I like all them catchphrases. You and me both. Take me to the house, children. Thank you. Okay, here, let me check. Your kitchen made strong. <laughs> okay. Amy's bedroom. I see. Okay. Yep, this is about. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, goddammit. More days. I forgot she would be chasing me. God damn it. It's okay, I need to come up here anyway. And I technically got the notes already, so we're good. She is here. At least I think. Ah, shit. I may have fucked up. Apparently, it didn't save me getting the notes. No, it's okay. I, I read them on stream. We will be doing this for 10 years. I'll do it every year for 10 years if I have to. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Fuck. Nia underscore Nian says anyway, Chad is in sheep's clothing, reborn, is out and I am down bad help I love them SM. <laughs> What's that, Nia? Oh god, wait, do I need to go to the attic? What do I need to do? I need to look at you. Where are you? I know you're gonna come out. There you are. I don't want to look at you. Oh, fuck. Maybe that's why I need. The song by Set It Off. <laughs> Sounds bad. I'm proud of you. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. <laughs> she's she's watching me. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go. Who's the purple guy? Oh, that's Amy. Amy's not happy with us. Screens left. Nope, not following the children. Did we deserve it? Uh, yes and no. Complicated. But remember, guys, Wednesday at 8 p.m., we're going to the public lecture. On Satanism. You guys said you would join me, so now you guys have to, okay? You don't have a choice. You gotta. You said you would, you gotta, okay? You gotta. You gotta or I'll be sad. Did I deserve it? Oh, I probably deserve it. Do they have Chips Ahoy? Oh, yeah. 
Only the most satanic food available. So Chips Ahoy, uh, Devil <laughs> Food Cake, Deviled Eggs, Coffee Oreos, of course. What's a function without some coffee Oreos? I'm not Christian, but Satan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I. Okay. <laughs> Deviled egg slap. I sell myself for them. Can't lie. You know what that reminds me of? Okay, this is the note about the people walking. reminding me of um I had Turkish delight for the first time a few months ago and like it was good don't get me wrong but it wasn't like sell my family out to a witch you, you know what I mean anyway just thought I would share that also where was the grave I think it was this way oh, here it is Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin. If I remember correctly, Mr. Martin's deployed out somewhere in the Middle East. It was just Miss Martin. Raising these kids. Something happened. Okay, good. We got the notes. There we go. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear the voices outside, around a house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, sorted, planted somehow. Like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. This? It is this. Alright, here we go. Also, I've never had orange sticks. What are orange sticks? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask a niche about it next time we have book club. It looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Orange Turkish delights covered in chocolate in stick form. Okay, that I might sell out my siblings for. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She blank my superior, father blank with blank. When I confronted her, she blanked, managed to cut the power to the house and blanked. Her own parents blank with their own blank. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I could still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. Also, I never noticed this, but she definitely drew a, a smiley face out of blood on this fucking mannequin. I hadn't noticed that before. Cool, thanks. You know that's always a good sign when the crosses start spinning. Hi, Amy. My God, who 
what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Sorry. Oh god. Hello. What the? Oh, I can't get rid of that thing. Ah. Yeah, I don't think your face looks pretty at all. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I know your game. I know how this fucking works. Ah! Gender. Is it gender to not have a face? Fuck, which one? This one. Ah! We're good. We're good. Fuck, which one? Which one? It was this one. Oh, God. Okay, hi. Uh, we're good. Yes, yes it is. I didn't know that. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's a good thing I already know how to do this one. Yeah. God damn it! Okay, thank god. Yeah, it's not normal. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Welcome to hell! Hi, thank you for the... Oh, shit. Thank you for the... Ugh. Oh, god. Nope. Gotta move. Thank you for the gift sub to Crow is loader. I appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. Ghost Cat underscore says imagine if they had this on Atari. It would have had like 12 other big games, seven movies, four books, and a Doritos and now the Nuka Lab. What could have been? What could have been? Damn. I would have wanted that. Pretty sick ass Atari game, honestly. I'll forever mourn what could have been. Still gender. <laughs> Is it gender to be possessed by a demon? I think she threw herself out the window. Holy fuck, she threw herself out the window. That's not normal. That's not normal at all. You can't do that. <clears throat> this is the ceremony for opening the... something. Let no brother or sister utter it. Prepare the blank. Use the right index finger to draw the signs of the blank on the floor. Bring an impure vessel to the signs of the blank. Let a brother or sister drink blank at each sign of the blank. Are of the face of the blank. I'm just going to say redacted. That sounds better. The blood that fills the opening is the new redacted. Let seven redacted be taken from their mothers and lowered into the redacted. Upon the offering of the seventh redacted, the redacted will emerge from the redacted. This is the second death. Oh, cool! The arm coming out of face is fine, but jumping out the window? Nah, that's too far. Yeah, that is too far. That's dangerous. I only have one note left, and I know where to get it. I know where to get the note.
kill her. Fuck yeah. <laughs> anyway. Good thing there's another gun here. Oh, by the way. Wow, can you believe that? Oh, fuck. Did I fuck up? No, I didn't. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Good thing they had four guns with one bullet. You know, you're supposed to you're supposed to take the bullet out of the chamber when you store these things. Hey there, you asshole. That's right, secret boss fight. I didn't, I didn't do this last year. Another gender. Trying. October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. McGlashan, It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my affliction and has helped me find a way forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report. Accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased, and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute uh, contingent upon follow-up appointments, Dr. Spinell. Dearly, John Ward. So was it all a dream? Or is she really possessed? Well, I know what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to listen to the blood on the floor. Maybe the secret blast wanted to do collab stream. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Also, sorry, Amy. But it's not your day yet. There's something else I have to do. Hey, guys. What should I do with this gun? What do you think? What should I do?
I will say of the war, he is my refuge, and my fortress. My cock in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Yeah, secret ending. That's right, Nia. It's your dear god. Maybe they're fans. Unidentified body discovered near a wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling in this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman. But the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been injected from the vehicle front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of the cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. A white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. Now it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Cool ending, right? <laughs> There's a lot of secret endings. Actually, I think I can I think I can continue. Hold on, let me see. I do begin and go to chapter one. Hey, we got all the notes at least. That's good. And if I hit continue. Yeah, there we go. Here, we can get the other ending. Let's see. <laughs> you want to make a small yo standy like a five centimeter one that'd be fun here do you guys want to see the ending the ending where we do shoot amy why don't we do that why don't we go ahead and shoot amy huh why don't we give her what she fucking deserves Shoot, Amy. Do it, coward. Beep, ba, da, bo, bo. I did it, Kare. I did it for you. Hi, Kare. Thank you for subscribing for 37 months. It's really nice of you. How have you been? Are you doing good? Doing okay? I'm so proud of you. Thank you. They say there's about five endings, and each of them correspond with shooting something. But then leaving. Should have souls rolled. Yeah. She really should have dodge rolled better. Your keyboard is broken, but I am well. That's like me, but like... In general. I cannot use capitals. <laughs> it's okay, it's an aesthetic. You know, some people like make their usernames in all lowercase because it looks better than if it was capitalized. I don't get them. That's not me. But apparently some people swear by that. Okay, this is the ending. This is like the, we'll call it the like normal ending. Murderer. You know what all the endings symbolize? Funny joke. It symbolizes the fact that murder is hilarious. Some of them are jokes. Some of them are more just to reveal more info. I understand. 
You love it, Mr. Fuck out of y'all. We miss you too, Corey. <clears throat> Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody today after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for the questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, the police located Amy's body in the woods near the abandoned, the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest. Pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after the Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Isn't that fun? Isn't that so fun? What a fun ending. Uh huh. And now we get a different ending. So many wonderful endings. I know which endings are more important. If that makes sense. Or what a canon what the canonical ending is. But as far as um you know. Like the deer ending and the ending I'm about to do right now, assuming I'm doing it right. These aren't real endings. Hey there, Father Garcia. Yeah. I shoot, I shot the suspicious man. I'm not supposed to know who he is yet. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Goodbye, Father Farcia. Farce. What's a farce? Garcia, even. Do, 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 do. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shot a random I man, but it's fine. Be afraid. And I'm dead! Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. The past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back, with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him, the darkness inside him of flicks his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. I should have paid child support. That's the real lesson. that's the ending where you shoot that which implies that uh you know maybe that fucking creature that's running around was michael davies and the man i shot was probably father garcia 
Let's see. Uh, where? I think I go left. I think I go left? I think I go left. Or is it right? We're about to find out. Yep, here it is. So this is a fox, apparently. Cool. I shot a fox. <laughs> that was already dead. Isn't that great? Didn't that work out? Now I feel good about myself. Uh, oh. Hi. What you uh, blocking the road for? This is fine. This is fine. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your... First off, that's like... groomer talk. Do not let your mom and dad stop following you. If there is anything I can do to help you... We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by... They'll consider you a part of the team. If your mom and dad do not, we hope to see you there. Gary. Gary. I mean, I guess what he was doing, was, or what Gary was doing, was grooming, but just not in the sexual way. Very different way. But you'll learn about that in chapter three. Don't worry about it now. I'm too familiar with this story. You ever groomed someone for a satanic ritual? Because that's technically what happened. And here's the true ending. Of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon Hi, him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He point. will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I'll Title drop! Sorry. Team. Quit your job. Why? Join my satanic cult. There you go. That's what you should do. Ending five of five when faith endures. Roll credits! You did it! That's an alpha rat emo. I like alpha rat. Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. 
Sterling Police Department is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut as the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they had appeared on the be a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. Exactly, you're right. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said the Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Oh. 100 polygons received from hit bellings. Okay, Yosh and Chad, I have been awake for 20 hours. 20 hours? Oh, God. To see my life again. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your night, but I need to go pass out now. Understandable. GN, y'all. Good night, Lynx. Thank you again for stopping by. It's always appreciated. You take care. September 21st, 1987. Hi, Raya. By the way, I got an achievement for getting all of the endings for Faith Chapter 1. I am now showed you every chapter. For those of you who don't know, this was an itch.io release game that released every once in a while. There was three chapters to it, one, two, and three. The Unholy Trinity is a combination of all of those on Steam. I highly recommend it. Did you also know this game's on Switch now? You can actually get a physical version on Fangamer. It's really cool. Missing quite a few notes. Let us begin. Kid hearing this song is like setting me through memories I've long since forgotten. Right? And this is the prologue. I think we skipped the prologue the last time I played this. I was raised Roman Catholic. I think that's probably also why I dig this aesthetic. Because it also reminds me of childhood memories. Oh, this scarecrow really doesn't want to... Come on, give me something. Flashing scarecrow warning. Okay, I give up. Ah! Ah! Get. 
Not to be a religious kid. It has mixed results. <laughs> I think growing up has mixed results. Oh, cool scarecrow. Okay, now can I do this? Nevada the Merchant. Hello, bitches. Hello. Hello, merchant. What goods do you have in store for us? Mortis indeed, Pansetta. Would you be scared alone in a cornfield, Yosh? You see, I would. However, I would be surrounded by my one true love, corn. So it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I think I need to kill this fucking thing. Dude. I haven't played this prologue in fucking years. Or actually, I think I need to be checking the... Scarecrow each time. Yeah, you're looking a little different. Yeah, you look a little different. I think it's very different from Buddhism, so I don't know. Yeah, it's very, very different. Again, mixed results. Corn is tasty. It is! How can I be scared surrounded by my true love? Yep. Okay, I think I need to kill this thing a few more times. Or banish this thing a few more times. Alright, where are you? There we go. And then Catholicism is already different than regular Christianity by a lot. Oh fuck, nope, I didn't have the right angle. Shit. What? Oh, I didn't let it play actually. I forget you can skip that now. So bad, I don't want to skip it. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I know you know. I'm explaining to Nia. This is why. Oh, why? Why are you coming from the sky? There we go. Oh well, I know you know that I know that you know that you know that I know that you know that he knew that I knew that what knew you know no. I know. What do you know? What do I know? I know things. I know I like corn. My faith is weak. My faith is weak. Look at that face. Hi, Kitty Cat 92. How are you? It came back at bar carbogabada hydrates. Hi. What you saw? Reap what I sow. Oh, I get it, because I'm in the cornfield. No Halloween costume, Yosh? Oh, actually, yeah, I have a Halloween costume. I'm a pirate. <laughs> this scarecrow no longer has a face. Christian and Catholic, look who I am turned up. An ex Italia fan. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. A dog. <clears throat> About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. It's always just coyotes, isn't it? That third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. Then Greta, the last of that old line brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose, tore off into the corn. We all listened, too scared to go after her, as her barks faded away into the distance. After that, we had two nights of silence besides the endless whispering wind blowing through crops. But then, this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror left at the edge of the field. There's something out there. 
That's normal. What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against straying too far from the sanctuary. But I have shut them in their quarters and nailed boards over the doors. Now I am digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all. But I know they're all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone in the sanctuary ever again. Not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever did this is much, much worse. That's a good sign. So, uh, something brutalized six children in the cornfield. Oh, yes, I think a little girl tried to hug one of my jack-o'-lanterns. That or steal it. It was adorable. I love that for her. I'm, re I'm suddenly remembering something. Something about going behind the house. Do I remember correctly? I do not. Maybe that's later. Thank you for the head pat, me. Death awaits. <coughs> we have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of things around the sanctuary. Mr. Bell. He came highly recommended by the main office in Hatford, Hartford. Bringing her in marks the completion of staffing the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting out what happened to those children. Or as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone, and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service, having finally left those dark times behind. We've even received clearance in a new group of children. Three next week and another three sometime next month. Hartford. Yeah, this is in Connecticut? Or at least somewhere in the East Coast. Although this is the prologue, which is a little different. I just pat to prove if I'm tripping or my graphs are making you glitching. Am I am I glitching? Oh fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Didn't like that. Sister Bell seems like a naturally cheery person. When the new children arrived, she became positively elated. He doles over them constantly, takes them on walks, and tells them stories long into the night. I have seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing besides what is found in the hymns. Here I go! But I've seen the children dancing around Sister Belle in a circle from time to time. Also, hello! Ravi Rivai? I probably pronounced that wrong, but thank you for following. <clears throat> While they dance, he stands still and looks up at the sky as if listening to something. On another occasion, I found all six children standing in a line just outside the cornfield. They were all looking into the field where Sister Belle was standing and talking to them. These odd games don't bother me too much, and she's so good with the children. Her cleaning is excellent, too. As soon as she arrives, she seemed to just instantly know her way around. Oh, thanks for liking my avatar. Uh, however, I do not speak Spanish very well. The cat or the character? The character! I think. You guys don't think the cat is, like, controlling me, do you? Right? I'm still me, right? I'm too much of a dog boy to be a cat. What? Thou shalt not kill. Hmm. 
<clears throat> they couldn't have given me a worse last case before retirement. Old Catholic church out in the middle of nowhere, one missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old nun. Brothers and sisters, or whatever the hell the people that work here call themselves, are all terrified and, worse, superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and I drive along the farm roads at night, looking for signs of the missing people, and he makes for pretty good company. There are two kids left. Hey, they were asleep the night the four went missing. They also claim that the woman, Miriam Bell, isn't actually gone. When I ask where she is, they look at each other, then back at me, and tell me to ask her myself. saw that. Oh. Professional. Yeah, so the prologue chapters are kind of like little bonus chapters. This technically isn't part of the overarching story, though it is a little bit. That too. Something. I don't want to bless you, child. Okay, I didn't like that. Fine, it's fine. <clears throat> This morning, we found these very odd objects around the church. The best way I can describe them would be large, life-size dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe? A group of weirdos? The kids seem fixated on these doll things. They stare out the window at them all day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them. But when I looked... Nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the kids or the hours of driving these farm roads at night. This place is getting to me. I keep having the same nightmare where I'm standing outside the church, looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through rows of corn. Their bodies are painted red. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's super normal. That's super normal and fine, right? It's good. It's good. Everything's fine. Try right, going north of the church again. Oh, now it's just even more closed. Don't think I don't see you. I see him. Hmm. What is this game about? Demons and possessions in the 80s.
Investigating creepy things happening. Oh, I see. I think I have to... One thing after another. If I come here, maybe I go up? Music cut out. Hmm, I see. Okay, hold on. Let me try that again. It's a little bit like a puzzle game where you're just kind of figuring out what to do. Peeks into the back. I've totally been here the whole time. Uh-huh. I'm sure you have. Hi, Sleepy Shadows. Ah, okay, here we go. I remembered. Didn't like that. What happens if I go in here, though? Oh, not yet. Okay. I should have known this place was no good. The signs were all around me. The disappearances, the creepy twins, the life-size stick dolls. Four of them. Around two in the morning, we woke up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway outside the kids' room. I know this sounds crazy, but when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from a painting of the Virgin Mary. We thought we had lost our minds just then. We heard a loud noise coming from the chapel. We got there just in time to see Miriam drag the kids down the stairs leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon, but was stopped by Father Clark. Did something about God's work and headed down the stairs, feeling the opening to the stairs behind him. The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do was wait. I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain. The devil is real. To anyone reading this, please, for the love of God, don't go down into that basement. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's super cool. Oh, God. Hi, Strawberry Mint Kitty. Thank you for following. Welcome to Faith. We're having a grand time. Oh, hold on. This is new. Uh, 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 I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Okay, we're fine. Well, time to go into the basement. Darkness surrounds thee. Fucking bones. Blood. Written in ritualist. Oh fuck. What is that? What are you? Fuck. The twins. Where are you? 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 Where? Ah! Haha! Got it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. Um. I think we're fine. <laughs> Miriam? Here is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits, let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can it be purified. You will know it is time when its eyes glow red. To enter the unseen world, destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going up there. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't like that. 
not a fan. I go in here now. Here. Maybe in here. No. Well, maybe I do have to go up there. I don't want to. I just, you know, I feel a little concerned. My score! I was so close! And now chapter two begins proper. And guess who we are? That's right, we're Father Garcia. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. We'll meet our representatives there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Michael Davies, day one. weeks. Three months. That's not Michael anymore. Oh, there's nothing kinky about this. Dios mío, what have you done? Oh, I have somebody as a pig! You can't hide from God, evil. You shall reap the wrath of the Almighty. Literally just ate a random neighbor. That's fun. It's 2 a.m. Who is the blue thing? I assume it was just a random neighbor. I don't know. But he's dead now. He was dead trying to get into his house or apartment. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. If you're in a hurry, hold the space bar and the action button to skip cutscene. Okay! Yahoo! Dear! Dear God! Oh, dear God. <laughs> I forgot about this. That's fucked. Notice. Aviso. Current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery, State of Connecticut Historical Society, has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, and any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. 
I assume this is because of the uh, chupacabra situation. Dear, dear God, oh dear God, exactly. <laughs> you understand me. Make sure. Time to check graves. Never know. Oh, this one's off center. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Where did he go? Where did he come from, Devil-Eyed Joe? Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer first shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you are needed. Rest. Gary. Tomatose Devil Worship. Uh, now, take care of that. Left of the tomb, you lead it. All right, now we should just play as normal. We should have been a cat again just for today. Just for today? <laughs> Why? What have I done that would constitute me being a cat? <coughs> At least I think I haven't done anything. Have I done anything? Is there anything cat like? Have a look down. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this fucking boss. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, fuck, there it is! God! Remember someone put cat ears on you something that one time? I did! But you know. But I don't sense any feline notoriety fear. I can't destroy Viper. That's right, we mortis. And I will die again. Over and over, because I can't get the Christian boy achievement. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay, I can do this. Local 
underscore cryptic says Merry Christmas, yo, Charlie. I shouldn't have gotten that close. More of this. More of this. That's right, Cryptid. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Got him. Got what? <laughs> sure, why not? Got him. I didn't realize you were... Oh, God. A demonic unborn fetus. It's officially November now. Not for me! Not for me, it's not! It's 10.43 p.m. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. And my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather and... Only... It wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming to the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Mortis is a game? No. But Faith is. Hi, cutie cupcake. How are you? They don't have any more heads. Okay, let me go to the safe family crypt. One of the, one of the, one of the worshippers is gone. Checking, 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 checking. Can't redeem boot. Oh yeah, there's a cooldown. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, there's a cooldown. Boop will return in Avengers Endgame. Don't you worry. Okay, right, up, left, up. At least I think that's how it works. How's Faith been going? Great! I love this game a lot. I knew it! been freed. No more vi father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. You'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign. Drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, and I will show them my power. Cool. You're a cryptid. I don't believe that. How could that possibly be? What a spooky. Yeah, it's quite the spooky. I like the spook. I like to be a little spooked here and there. Oh. oh. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a 
training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public, closed casket funeral be held at Tillinghast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Fucking ominous. Willoughby Wisp, hello! Hi, Wisconsin. How you doing? Welcome back to Faith! We're having a mortis of a good time. Ooh. The statue moved. The statue moved. The statue moved. The statue moved. Did you see that moved? That statue wasn't there. It wasn't there before. Be having a good Hollow's Eve. Played Stardew Valley with a friend. That's a good way to celebrate Halloween. Did any of you do anything interesting for Halloween? Hmm? Did you finish up with any parties or anything and now you're here? How's it going? Go to class. I have class all day. I'm so sorry. Or Nia. It's okay. I almost go to the club, but too tired. But it's the club. You gotta party at the club. Oh my god. I don't know why I said it like that. <coughs> yep. Go to the boss. I'm an angel. That is not an angel. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, get out of here. There we go. We're fine. I think I would be really wasted if I did go. That friend group drink like a lot, a lot. Okay, maybe not the best idea. I understand. <coughs> Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to judge me. Every time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No worries. Just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. Beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Hello, oh, Gary. Hey, we're Azer Burst Wyvern. How are you? Their insides became outsides. Ain't that fun? Low key, not ready to be at a club from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Fair. Understandable. I feel like this statue didn't always look like this. Ah, it's probably fine. You got the absolute shit scared out of you earlier. It's locked. I mean, tis the season. Well, fair. I hope you're all right, though. Hold on one second. Yep. 
and a cop talked to me randomly. Oh, that's always horrifying. There. Oh, right. Hold on. Let me go to the... I forgot I killed three demons. I probably should go to the... They filed two. Is that what I should do? I'm bleeding from my eyeball. Normal. I don't think that's normal. Yeah, didn't I get a thing about... It did. I did get a thing. Let's get an ending. What exactly has this been the story so far? Um... Hmm. How do I begin? How do I even begin here? Um, so, my name is John Ward. And I... may... have tried to prevent a possession? It didn't go well. Anyway, I'm trying to stop demons from being demons. I think that's all you really need to know right now. I'm just a priest. Doing his best. Wonder how many people have used the blood trail of Trump. <laughs> it's a little thin, but you, you get you get the you get the idea. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you for encouraging my bad behavior, Sleepy Shadows. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I locked myself out of an ending. I totally did. Oh well. Oh well. Big ball. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just really big balls. Hmm. Ads back. Hi, Candy Striper Viper. How are you? I think I needed to go out to the left when I still had the blood trail. There's something I was supposed to... I love demon trees. Don't you love demon trees? I know I do. Which one of these trees is going to eat me? Like that. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her children fear her. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, the prologue is basically, it was like a pre-released little, like, teaser. Will I help you, children? Will I help the children? I'm here to help the children. I'm not... 
on the hunt for spooky stuff and I found you. Hi. Hi. Welcome in. If you wanted spooky, you found the spooky, let me tell you. I will not help you. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna get out of here if that's okay. We're not gonna do this hunting. I think I was supposed to do a a sacrifice in the woods, but I confess thy sins. <clears throat> Day one of our in paranormal investigations into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. Got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before, evil spirits dragging children to the cornfield and secret tunnels of the temple. But there was this Finley Lady game I hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirits of a woman. We used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. Even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're gonna try the game tonight. As soon as we get settled in. Hell yeah. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh, okay, that's a turn. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeks have you yet to confess? I try to save a girl from evil. Oh, here's the plot. But my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him to... For his mercy and yours forever. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um. Hmm. Neil underscore Neon says, Father, I have been a bad girl. Please forgive my sin. I, uh, I'm not sure I can forgive your sin. <laughs> I am sorry, Nia. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement. We found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Yeah. Sorry, you're too far gone now. It's okay, it'll work out. Uh, so if you remember from the prologue, this, uh, where the children used to stay. Not great. She's in here. She's in here with me. She's in here with me. The spindly lady is- Fuck. Fuck. Ah, okay, we're good. Okay, we took care of that. 
Oh god. Hi, cool kid. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Please. Yeah, that's one's not normal. This this one's not normal at all. <laughs> well, so yes, happy Halloween, everyone. Have a lot of Gwydian. Also, happy Halloween. Everything's real spooky right now. Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. The night while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Oh shit. I actually understood one. She said heretic. I did hear that. I wasn't crazy. There's a heretic out there. I'm the heretic. Watch the candles. Oh, don't worry. I already did. I've already done it. Don't you worry. Don't like that. Well, I don't want to do it, but, uh, you guys want to go into the basement? Okay, not night three. Back here, tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave any. We have some more notes to find. Find them. Darkness surrounds thee. I know I even gained a year on my age. It was so spooky, LMAO. I had fun, though. I gave up candy while dressed as Hawks from My Hero Academia. Oh, that's fun. A fun costume. Wait, does that mean it's also your birthday today, Avalona Gwydion? Or did you, like, age? Because you got so scared that someone aged you. <clears throat> this is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Uh, even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father, Father Clark, a foolish old man. Going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the. You're a pumpkin, baby. Oh, a happy birthday! You've now aged a year. The most horrifying thing a person can do. You were a hacker this year. Did you mean you hacked computers, or did you hack people to pieces, or both? I won't judge. Hmm. I should be looking at the H? Should I be going to the H's? I, I think I remember this. H, X, T, L, spiral. H, X, L, viral, up. Oh, thank God. I remembered. Mother of demons. Adios mio. Yours is before Halloween, but your mom always mistakes yours for Halloween. <laughs> oh, that's why you were saying. I remember. 
There's this Guy Fox masked hoodie wearing hacker. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. I escaped out the creepy door, isn't that fun? Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Makes it sound like I came home from, from work. Ah, this. Oh, hey, look, a severed head of a man. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killing, Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, and what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Ingles are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonian Regnant. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. Bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could have been related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of A.B. Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Ingles because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack, cocaine, and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Regnant Satani Vitae, Pandemonium Regnant Satani Vitae, Pandemonium Sagnat Ritani Vitae, Pandemonium Sagnat Ritani Vitae, Pandemonium Sagnat Ritani Vitae, Upside down cross. I'm here, John. <laughs> Good night, Razorburn. <laughs> Everything's fine here, don't worry about it. Huzzah! 
I am the killer of people. I've become a demon. I also almost got hit by a truck. What if I want to be hit by a truck? I'm going to play in the road. Or maybe the truck's gone. Maybe I fucked up. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's a couple murders on my hand. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Those people are dead because of me. Candy Tunnel. It's fine. It's fine. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch near Snake Meadow Hill Road crossing Sterling. Glorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be a home of addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indignant, has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels. Here's a possible connection to the Bill Bauman. AKA the candy store killer confirmed eight victims hit in Rhode Island over the past year. That's what you imagine a spider to sound like. Same. Satin lives. Damn. I didn't know Satin lived. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. It's the Mortis game again. It is Choco Jax. Hi. I hope you're having a good Halloween. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer. Tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels. Where suspected murderer John Bow or Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Well, apparently not that much. You're chilling? I'm glad you're chilling. You keep chilling. A key. I'm in a tunnel! I like it here. It's cozy. Wait, did I just... Oh, this place's geometry doesn't make any sense. I may have accidentally murdered two people while I was a demon spider, but we're not going to worry about that. It happens to the best of us. Holy indeed. When... The... You, it, don't move. Okay. Oh, hey, that's a reference to Dusk. That's a Dusk key. Why is there blood here? Light. <laughs> Fuck. Mortis. I wanted to see if it would play red light or green light. It wouldn't. It didn't do that. <laughs> you Mortis. I may have Mortis just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Iser and Ray, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Things are going well. I may have died. that a little intimate I don't know if intimate is what I would say to describe this 
Come on. <laughs> Red light. I wouldn't be stupid enough to do it again, right? I wouldn't be stupid enough to say green light and move. Green light! Ah, I can get there! No, I'm sorry, I'm kidding, I'm joking! More days. <laughs> I was curious. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm only a little dumb. Son. I think I need to get these notes again anyway, because after I died, it doesn't say that I did. There we go. What if he just wanted to be grand? Oh. Yeah, I only mostly died. But it sees you. Don't move. Got it. Not moving. I bloop. I wouldn't do it because I have bloop here, and I wouldn't hurt bloop. Green light! I'm kidding. That's a joke. That was a joke. Okay, we can move. <laughs> Look, everything's fine. Did it. Fine. There's the blood dragged into the. That's a lot of ketchup. Yeah, someone likes extra ketchup on their burger, apparently. I think I've seen this game before. The cutscenes look familiar. You might have seen one of them Let's Players play this game called Faith. It also released on Nintendo Switch recently, like last week. Loop will outlive us all. That is 110%. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> this is as far as I'm going to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really big. I do not want to bless you, child! Okay, that was almost bad. We're fine! We're fine! <laughs> We're good. Good. Fine. It's fine. We're just walking down a tunnel, having a good time. Everything's fine. Fine. Candy Tunnel. Look, how can a place called Candy Tunnel be bad for you? you? You know what I mean? Sure, there's a guy named the Candy Store Killer, but it's probably fine. Candles. And blood. I'm sorry, God, please save me. energy is the white van. Yeah, don't go into the van. Hello, the blood trail. Where does it... Oh, a flashlight. How nice. Why is there a bunch of bones in here? Will you Fuck. Suffer the kill, 
Huh? Twins? Why are there kids here? Oh god, there he is, there he is, there he is. Ah! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh god, you're right there. I don't like this part. I don't like this part at all. Fuck. Get away from me! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There's like shit showing up in here. Okay, didn't like that. I'm leaving. After I check to see if there's a note. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. That's not good. It's normal to not like things you can't see or get a hold of. That normal. I can't get a hold of myself. Do I hate myself? That might be true. Damn. That's deep. That's real deep. Almost as deep as these sewers, because Jesus Christ. Is here? Is here? Were they waiting for me? Clean ex. I don't know what that said. I try to pretend like I knew what they said. They hate the light. Okay. You hope it deep in me. I. Yeah, I can't help but feel like you may have said your thoughts incorrectly somehow. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Back! Back, foul demon! Back! Back! Fuck. Back! Why is the music doing that? Why is the music doing that? Why is the music doing that? Damn it, the music scared me. Oh, fuck. Where are they? That also you, you're scared of light. Key. So, this is, this, there's a very complicated ending where I would have drawn a, a pentagram at the very beginning of chapter two with my blood, and then found a child and given it to whoever was asking for it in the confessional room, and I would have been able to get that. I was going to try to go for that, but I kind of forgot. It's not a good ending, <laughs> but it is a secret ending. So at least we'll go for the seat. Wait for me. Oh god, why is it dark in here now? Oh no, no, it's been dark in here. <laughs> it's been dark in here, I know that. Oh. We love complicated endings, don't we all? We all love complicated endings. I know I do. Oh shit! It's my boy! Okay! We got a team! Let's go! Yes, it's true, but 
so i hope so father it's the banana man sing us a song oh banana man sing us a song tonight you don't know what you came into a satanic ritual arctic source what do i always call you i call you arctic source i remember I got a little distracted by the creepy lady in the center of the room. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, fuck. Oh, God. I forgot I have to protect him. I have to protect him. Stay back. Stay back. God, why couldn't the disciples have written shorter passages? Are you the sacrifice? Yes. All of Charlie shall be sacrificed in my name. That's what you have to look forward to. He will deliver me the trouble. Uh. He will deliver me and other me. The devil's needs are charged on the exalted to be dead body. Yeah, read the Latin. Oh, fuck, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. The devil's needs are charged on the exalted to be dead body. We do it. We do it. Oh, shit. Father Garcia? Father Garcia, you there? Where are you? Garcia? Oh, fuck. Oh, there she is. Father! Father, I'm scared! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck. Back. 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 Oh god! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just gotta keep. Wait! Oh, oh god! There she is. She's... I saw her. I saw her. I saw her. She was in the corner. She was in the corner of the light. I know she was. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh fuck! There she is. Okay. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Father! It just sounds like I'm screaming for my actual dad, but I, I, re realistically, I'm just. Oh god! That's his title. I promise. Oh shit! What happened? Mortis. Is it because I put the cross away? I didn't mean to do that. Oh fuck. Ah. Or did she teleport on top of me? I think she kind of teleported on top of me. Oh, she teleported right there. She really did teleport on top of me. Please die. Oh god. Gotcha. Oh god. God, she sounds creepy. Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. The morning breaks! John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. My wife left me! Uh-huh! <laughs> I 
I'm not going in there. What's in there? John, what's in there? John, what's in that room? I don't think I ever found out what was in that room. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived the nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. It's time to save the boys! That's right, gotta go save them boys! They're twins. End of chapter. Ending 11. Road to Redemption. We're ending 2, not 11. <laughs> There's quite a few endings of that one, if I recall correctly. But we would have to do the whole chapter over if you wanted to do it correctly. New background unlocked! Whoa! Let's have a look at the new background I want to see. That one's new. You can only see half of it because the way I have the screen, but it's fine. Let's see. Well, I got most of the notes this time. Missing five, though. I think they're related to the other endings. Then it's time for chapter three. The longest chapter. Gary loves you. Gary's a normal human being, just like you and me, Chadley. Never forget that. And now that we know that, let's go save the boys. What? Show needles. For Dina. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There's a there's a part where they show a needle. I guess you can turn off needles if you don't like needles. I was confused for a second. And now we're doing Faith Chapter 3. This is my favorite chapter. September 21st, 1986. Before we saved the boys, it's flashback time. Okay, Father, all red. Muffled is a nice touch. Okay, Father Allred. I'm all ready. Look at how normal the house looks, not dilapidated or anything. Hello, Martins. Hi. So happy. 
to save your daughter and everything's gonna be fine. Oh, let's go. Uh, sorry, I had a hallucination. Alert everything go wrong. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh god, there she is. What a fun nightmare again. October 28th, 1987, three days until the profane Sabbath. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them. A ritual? A ritual on them. They call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering the whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. You must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. Okay. I'm not going in there. But what's in there? I'll never know. So let me know if the volume's okay. Or if it's too loud or something. I know it's kind of loud at this start. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Oh yeah, this one. That message. Cool house with a basement. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy works. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Look at my cool house! Look at my cool neighbors! I wonder what my neighbors are up to. Let's go look in their windows. Oh, hey, look! They're watching Jay Leno! <laughs> what a silly guy! What a, what a silly guy. Oh, that Jay Leno. <laughs> I'm more of a Conan O'Brien, to be honest. My other neighbors, what are you guys up to? Huh? Doing anything cool? Anything neat? Oh, they're also watching Jay Leno. All right, you do that. It's like a lot of work for one priest to be doing. Well, you know, what he's doing has not been approved by the Vatican. It's a little complicated. Acting off the grid, as they say. Love Coco. <laughs> Good. Uh, hello, officer. Yes, I hope I for your 
Okay, I'll be careful, I guess. And by careful, I mean uh, I'm just gonna do my own thing anyway. Because, you know, I operate beyond. Beyond. Let's see. specific I want to make sure to do. I think I already know what to do, now that I think about it. If I remember. Calling all metal fans. Feels the Fest 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by when all is said and done. Trust no corpse, the horror is dead. Basement 2, return to bondage. Among the bloody, lying still in silence. Mother of Shadow and the door to afterbirth. Advanced sale tickets $3. Admission at the door $5. Whoa. Whoa. To Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember our sales point. Clean, quick, curt. Not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. Not afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line. Happen to hear back from Mr. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. And facts. Looks like it's... Note to self, pills do not dissolve in IV drip well. Two patients waking up or processes complete. Sooner or later, they will realize they are having the same hallucinations. Suggest concentrated injectable version. That is not a baby. Boards over the door. I like the way he says it. I agree. I hate when there's... It was Gordon Freeman. Here I go! Kia 0050. Hi. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. We're currently just investigating a, you know, a abandoned abortion clinic. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> I didn't like that. I heard, I didn't. Oh god, fuck. Oh fuck. Hide. I remember hiding. I need to hide. I'm hiding here. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. From. I promise. I'm not moving. Is that Jeffrey? By the way, that's loss on the fucking curtains, by the way. How is BB formed? Um, you know, stork.
Is he gonna stay there? Yeah, but, uh... I'm not joking, by the way. Look, fucking look at this. Do you see this? It's fucking lost. <laughs> Suddenly it makes more sense in the context of, you know what, don't worry about it. Anyway, there's a little Easter egg for you. <laughs> oh God. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, 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 he's coming. Like the show lost? N uh, no, the, the, uh, let's see. Sorry, this thing's, I have to make sure this thing's not gonna kill me first. The meme one. Loss. L O S S. And be able to move that. Okay, I think. I think what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. I just have to hang out here. No, I don't. Maybe I can go up the stairs? Find out. Hello, help. What the hell is going on here? Please help me. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of shit happening. Freaky wheels are being strapped to the crash car is from Phil called Jacob's Ladder. It is, isn't it? Never thought about that. Yeah, here, man, you take it. I like how they, they, they managed to program a... Oh, fuck. And, uh, sorry. They managed to get an accent in that fucking... Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Yeah, good luck with that. I need to go back into the clinic. There's something we need to do. I'll let him deal with the hippies. Join us. Get back on? Yes. <clears throat> and there we go. Come on. 
Oh god, did I... <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we go. Well, we're out for the gurney. That was a really good scream. I love that scream. Hey. Uh, hello. I'm looking for with boys. Dead, Jason, Martin. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey, secret boss fight. Things are getting weird. Things away from me. Yeah, just say I, I think I'll be going now. I think the implication of this is like fucking devil baity beatus bullshit. Not fun. Oh, fuck. Fuck. They just want to play? I don't like that. Oh, God. It's fucking noises. Oh, shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Get away from me! Okay, we're good. I gotta get that one. Fuck. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> ah! That's not good. Cease! They grow up so fast, don't they? Uh, okay, that one was close. No, stop! Shit, how much health does she have? Desist! Cease! Oh god, oh god, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> What the? No, stop! Oh, God. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> there he goes! Secret boss dead! Isn't that fun? Isn't that a fun secret boss? Super fun.
Smooth moves, priest, but the twins are not here. Carry out the works of your god while it is yet day, for the night cometh. Remember, Gary loves you. Wah. Ah. I'm glad Gary loves me so much. <clears throat> Anything up here? That is what working at daycare is like 100%. I didn't know that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a little fruity, Gary. What you mean by that? Oh yeah, we should check to see if that cops, uh, you know, took care of the hippies or not. His car's still on fire. And, oh. Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Oh well. Oh, by the way, hey, another fun, another fun Easter egg for you. The chat kind of cuts it off a little bit, but if you want to know, that's WD Gaster from Undertale. I'm sorry, no. That's, I forget who that is. This is WD Gaster from Undertale, and this is that creepy head thing from Yuma Nikki. What the hell's the thing on the left? I kind of forgot. I forgot what that thing is. No, wait, I know what that is. I know what it 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 is. I've seen it before. Fuck, I can't remember right now. I can't remember it! It's on the top of my head. Yeah, same. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, I'll remember eventually. Oh, and uh, this is a reference to my favorite streamer, uh, Vinny Vine Sauce. Oh, so, there we go. Time to leave. Balls. It's a reference to balls, that's right. But they're all just references to different games. Essentially. And one stream. Okay. It said in the ball. <laughs> hey father all red. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. Because he's done no fucking eat. way white sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got it. I don't even know what these words mean. Uh, okay, uh, hey, you guys aren't supposed to see this. Let's get you out of here. Come on. Why did those move? If I had to do this in person, would you be, I'd be crying, would you, Yosh? I think I would be too focused on the fact that there's a demon and a lady. I wouldn't have time to cry. Mostly because I'd be like, oh, God, fuck, uh, Mr. Priest, what do I do? Please tell me what to do. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, it's not your daughter. I know. I don't know what to tell you. Gonna need a lot of prayers. Don't worry, Father All Red, I'm coming. Boop, boop. They move even more. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> 
He got loose. He fucking got loose. Hearing the ooh woo and then the fucking music stinks. <laughs> Good. October 29th, 1987. Two days until the profane Sabbath. I'm not going in there. It was a dream in a dream. Now, I think I just woke up the next day. Or maybe it is Inception. That's true, too. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may have a... be attempting to summon Malthus. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave, he said. Is this in Connecticut? It is. John. For now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, Connecticut, 06511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer my door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. New Haven is in Connecticut. And there you go, Miss Kate Cat. Hey, do you guys want to see if my neighbors are still watching Jay Leno? Let's find out. No, I think that's wrestling. Yeah, it's wrestling. It's watching wrestling. It's fine. It's fine. 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 Here in New Haven, Connecticut. God has abandoned me. More wrestling. Okay. Wrestling with the family. Part time. God may have abandoned you, but we haven't. Aw, thank y'all. But I'm a streamer. I'm made to be abandoned. Among the damned. Cool apartment. Hello. Here. Let's see. Apartment 5A, huh? Okay. Let's go to apartment 5A. Fifth floor. We ran into a parking spot. I'm very talented. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Be fair, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. What the hell does that mean? Was that... out of context? It's locked. Great. I can get your key from your neighbor Tiffany, right? Do that. Tiffany, you there? Tiffany? Or is it hinting for me to just go to the first floor and investigate? I think that's what's hinting at. Let's do that.
Let's try left. Hard try out. Hillman. L. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pierce. I shall take my other notes from Lisa. Yeah, and if I check my other notes, then you see that they're written very different. Not written by the same person. J. Gonzalez, L. Shadwick, T. Robinson, E. Gibson. I B. E. Robinson. Is that Tiffany? E. Boone. Freebie, huh? Basement. Uh, I don't think I should go in the basement yet. I have a bit of a feeling that I shouldn't go into the basement yet. I swear. Shit is fucked. And I owe it all to Gary. I'm scared. Who be my favorite near a tomato character? Because it creates good atmosphere. It really does. Yeah. Uh, an ominous. Who A's door is open? Blood on the floor and there's stairs underneath the table. Every initiated follower knows that in order to begin to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven redacted by passing them through the redacted carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the redacted with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. Of it Gary has set his sights far too low. They will surpass her. Happy Faith Day. That's right, it's Faith Day. Hi, Treaty. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm dying. Over and over again. As was foreseen. That tracks for you. You wouldn't know. I am a god gamer. Amy? Ah, oh, <laughs> that wasn't Amy. It's fine. This is fine. I want crunchy knees. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm very hungry. I haven't done very much today, I'll be honest. I did was get ready for this. And then even then, I didn't have enough time. That's why I ended up starting really late. That's okay. have to do with food. No crunchy has to do with food. I know not what your knees do. Oh, I got the key. Um. Oh, 
I need a mask and a dagger? That's it. You wish to break the seal of Alu. Your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. And only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Okay. Well, it looks like to go into the basement, I have to go to the top of the apartment. Is what I'm gathering. Remembering. Do 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 Candles are always a good sign. I lied, they're not. 6B? No? Letter. Elevator friend. <laughs> Elevator friend! Oh my god! 1426. Timmy. What does that mean? One. Four. Six. And then I'll see the elevator friend. Find out. Elevator friend. We did it too early. You depending if I should get actual food, just eat two cake and still want to chomp on thing. You should probably get actual food. It's helpful, believe me it is. It'll help you. So I finally have my own place in the city. No more annoying roommates. I have a whole apartment all to myself. The building's nice. It seems new. Neighbors are kind of weird, though. They're always coming around, bringing food and stuff. It's actually making me a little sick. Another thing is mirrors. They're everywhere in the halls. It's nice because I could look around corners, which makes me feel safe, but it's still weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it. When I look at myself in those... I feel like it's not me in the reflection. Of course, when I came home from work today, the elevator didn't work. So I had to take the weird one-way stairs all the way up to the sixth floor. Then I noticed all the mirrors were shattered. Also, artists, VT, hello! Hi, thank you for raiding. I hope you had a good stream. There is no seventh floor. Remember, artist, there is no seventh floor. Hidden Treaty says, Welcome in Raider. Let me introduce you to our beloved father, Yosh, aka. You were a little too quick on that. Who down bad for your and Moth Mom? You can untrue. Get positive Only a little true. Energy from our beloved Sunere fatherly streamer who's doing weird shit all the time. I wouldn't do that. Nice Halloween costume. Thank you. I'm a pirate. <laughs> so what does it mean there is no seventh floor? Here we go. What? You guys saw that, right?
Yapping about Gina first merch in the Discord just today. That's untrue. You can't prove that. Probably. Okay, there is no seventh floor. Those are some demons. A little bit. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. Woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Okay. Sure. See for yourself. <laughs> See a man simp for a, for a streamer. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good sell. You guys see that? Now I'm back here. <laughs> Mortis indeed. That's a bye treaty. I gotta go through this again. Nicer emos for that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I I I say mortis too often for me not to have an emote, so I got an emote. No. Hmm. Is five B open? No, five B was not open. <laughs> it just looks good too. I like it. Elevator friend from Timmy. Good job, Timmy. 6A open. I don't believe 6A opens. Nope. I'm going to know from here, but I don't have to read it because I already did. Yep. Thank you. There is no seventh floor. That's right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Of course there's no seventh floor. Of course there's not. Of course there's not. There never was a seventh floor. There he was again. What a good lad. Love elevator friend. I didn't see that. I did Oh, there you were. Night. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, noted. I can take care of it. Take care of it. It'll be okay. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. Is that a sign? Kind of ominous. 
There is a seventh floor. That Gary. That's the elevator, friend. Or if you mean the one who guards them, I have no idea. Now you have it. Yeah, get the hell out of here. friend anybody has everyone gone to rapture a pumpkin oh my god williams family newsletter october 1987 Bravo. Bravo. you bye hi how are you thank you for raid wait why is it ad play god damn it whatever no cock like horse cock. Your asshole in the shock is under snow cock. Darble Joe, I haven't seen you since Vietnam. Hi, hi everybody. How you doing? How you doing? How things go? I think I don't know how many of you were subscribed, so you might be stuck in an ad. God damn it. I wonder if I can set a condition where if I get raided, it, like, auto-pauses an ad. Yeah. Stay here until the ads are done. Inconvenient, but it must be done. Angsty ads. You deserve it. You deserve it specifically, Darlo. Not that she can even hear me right now, but, you know. I guess I'll read this in the meantime. It's 30 seconds. Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It will be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive this newsletter, are invited. A reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Done. Welcome back from ads. Apparently, Twitch was like, ah, oh, you got raided? Let's throw an ad at you. Thanks. Thanks, Twitch. But hello, people I haven't seen forever. Hi, Darlo. I haven't seen you since Vietnam. How you been? Womp womp indeed. Yo, OBS and Razor kind of fuck you walking right now. I didn't even know the raid went through. Hi! You survived the war. Did you really? Because I, I, you know, I've been I've been back from the war for years now, and I feel like I died over there. A part of me really died. But hi, we're playing Faith. We're in Chapter Three. Going great. We're talking about a Halloween party that traumatized Timmy. I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. And just another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies, and please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him. Again, he still has trouble after what happened last year. What the hell happened to Timmy? You will also notice he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller. Who has taken to Timmy so well and has become a part of the family. Debbie. Gary Miller? Um. Didn't like that breathing. <gasps> Get the hell out of here! Get! Yeah. 
Hi, Yosh. I'm so, so, so sorry I'm late. Okay, first of all, first of all, hey! Hey! Hey, there's no... <laughs> you, you, you don't gotta apologize. No one needs to apologize for being late to a stream. This is all optional, you know. I'm not actually taking attendance. He's fine, don't worry. <laughs> but hi, everybody. You apologize again, I'm banning you! No, I, won't, I wouldn't ban you. But you know, you don't have to apologize. Okay, bye then. You never were here anyway, Darlo. You never were here for the birth of our child. You weren't here for their first, second, or third birthday. How dare you? How dare you? Or what now? <laughs> you, you've never showed up for any of the family gatherings. Shake my head. I was going to make a joke about a sub baby, but I don't think you're subbed. <laughs> yeah, no attendance, but there are bonus points. Mad at yourself for missing it. Don't be mad at yourself. That's even worse. Sacrifice what you cling to. I like the sound of that. Basement dumbwaiter. How to use. Pull up on handle to open hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. DTV, huh? Why are you having a child with everyone? No, it's different! Is Yosh addicted to giving birth? No, absolutely not! Yeah, do it cause I have a child with dark. I. Who am I having. Who am I giving children to? What? I don't remember this! Oh, no, not the Empreg argument again. I'm not strong enough for that. Anyway, I have to give up the cross. So be it. Hi, cross. There's something on the TV. What is that? What's on the TV? Use the Omega. I, I wouldn't call it that. That's not good. Uh, what floor? Look, I don't have time to discuss Sugar Baby. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit... I think it missed my floor. Oh, God. I just leave? No, I can't. Get to being one. I don't have time. Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. A root got him round. I don't think that's true. I saw it. Uh, it's on camera. Camera. Oh fuck. Oh no. Red guy hot. I don't think. I don't... I don't think... Sorry, I got a little... I just got a little spooked. It's okay. We just have a camera. It's fine. It's fine! We'll just go... We'll go look for the red guy, yeah? Let's go look for the red guy. Let's, let's see if we can give him Darlo's number. That's what we'll do. We turn out the candles.
Oh, shit. What? Were there symbols on the floor? There were symbols on the floor. I knew there were symbols on the floor. Following me. Priest cop! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. There's the red guy. You know what we're not going to do, though? We're not going to flash the camera. I'm just going to walk right on past them. That's what we're going to do. Sorry. Um, we're not going to give him the this time. He seems a little preoccupied. Fuck, why am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? What the hell happened here? Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh, what? What? What the? I'm having flashbacks now. <laughs> I like how you, you have an Evo for every... Oh, fuck! Hi, Potato. I know I already said hi, but I'm just saying hi again. I'm glad you like his mouth. I'm not a fan. Kool-Aid man has seen better days. Room with a knife? Give him to... Basement. Or rather, a secret passage. Oh, fuck. Ah! I don't like that. Oh, fuck. God, can you imagine running in a dark room full of boxes from a fucking creature and the only thing you do for light is just flash the camera? That's a little spooky. I could not fix him. No, I don't think anyone could fix him, Darlo. I have to make my way all the way down the... Oh, they blocked the entrance. That's great. That's the point, though. Oh, that makes him more attractive. I see. I didn't know that. I was ill-educated. Oh, fuck. Hi. I'm going down the stairs. There's times I'm bleeding. Over here. My cross. Now it's just the knife left. Just the knife left. We're good. My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood, the ritual. 
You will not find me on this world plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare, Tiffany. Man, the candle shop must be making bank off these guys. Honestly, I think, um, they say Tannic Ritualistic, uh, Cult Division. Kind of single-handedly keeps the... Oh, fuck, there he is. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Your secret. Your uh, th anyway, they're single-handedly keeping the candle company afloat. You can't hide anymore. Yeah, I can. Be clear. Oh, oh fuck. He's always with you. <laughs> you, you are too I belong to no one. Oh, shit. They may be a satanic cult, but they support local business. <laughs> are they really all that bad? They're supporting local business this much. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Uh, hi. Uh, is that me? You could fit. You could fit what? What could you fit, Darlo? What does that mean? Your ears? What about my ears? Where was the knife? Fifth floor? Or is it fourth floor? Maybe it's fourth floor. I knew I should have remembered. I was a little distracted. <gasps> what? Get the hell out of here, elevator friend! We're not friends! We're not friends with the elevator friend. Our ears. There we go. Oh. Elevate. Wait, was that a body? That was totally a body. I saw it. Maybe it was seventh floor? No, sixth floor. Sixth floor. That's what. Maybe it was the third floor. Damn it, I already forgot. <laughs> Anyways, until I get a text from Red Guy, I need to break myself. Have fun playing with creatures. Love you, Adder. How dare you! We have no such loom command here, and you know this. You are a false prophet in my kingdom. My kingdom of Chadley. Hark! Do not listen to the Dark Lord of Lies. Only obey me, Chadley. Only I can bring you salvation. And also bye, Darlo. Take care of yourself. I hear breathing. I didn't like that. I really did just forget what floor it was, didn't I? Shoot that on. Jesus Christ. Looks like one person tried to barricade himself, but then his head exploded. Christ, okay. Whatever the hell that means.
towards this. Brothers and sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but it may also be the test of our faith. Do not cease to pray, swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal. Fill yourselves in with bricks and mortar. And if that so-called priest shows up, take him and eviscerate him over the altar, preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Remember, Chadley, Gary loves you. Gary loves you. Priest caught! Sorry, I just, I just like that one. Hello, Telly. B. Was it not the third floor at all? Potato, is that one of the new premiere Choco J Heart emotes? Featuring her new model? Incredible. Maybe it was the second floor. I'm literally checking all the floors. I've given up. It was 2A. It was the second floor. Damn it. Why am I like this? And now we go back to five. Actually, do you guys remember when I got that, that like super Let's see. That that super rare event in the in the elevator last year? I remember. going for I think I already decided I think I've already done the things I need to do for the, the best ending so I think I'm just gonna go for that <sighs> fuck fuck no oh god more this more this I actually did find out you can do the um you can do the the ending I want to show you guys I'll probably do after we beat the game because you could do it really quick be great. Mortis indeed. Aha. Uh -huh. In my dreams. Time to play elevator game. 21051. Oh. Oh, maybe maybe I have to put in all of them. Okay. Right, let me go to two people. Yeah, this eye. I didn't I didn't get to exercise this eye. Duma ASMR, hello! Hi. You love faith? Me too! Play it every year. In the middle of our yearly thingy thing that we do do. I can word. <laughs> but hi, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Ooh, brothers and sisters, this month we'll be hosts. To a very special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down into the hole, it will break. No matter whose voice you hear down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve their remains in a timely manner. 
also, just a reminder that rent and utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. <laughs> Worst landlord ever. Christ. That was a perfectly timed mortis, wasn't it? A very well timed mortis. Okay, you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that out. Let me see. Let me check to see if I got everything. Of course, Gary is a landlord, right? Okay. We got what we need. Now let's see. Uh, type something. One, four, six, two, ten, five. There we go. We're just gonna. I just want to see what that does. I just want to see, you know, just for fun. It's all about fun, isn't it? That's the important part. All about fun. One. Four. Oh, I love that Kirby emote. This is a good Kirby. Two. Six. I love playing elevator game. Two. Oh, those are so good. What a good collection of Kirby's. To lift our spirits in these very horrifying times. Ten. Not again! Not again! Don't look at her. 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 One. You can't see it, but my hands are like on my... like... Up. Wait, what? I said one. I pressed one. Where are we going? I think I fucked it up.
Well, she's gone. I think she was gonna kill me anyway. Hold on, I gotta do it again. <laughs> Fuck, give me a second. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're at one. Go to two. And yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. I was too scared to look back at the lady because she kills you instantly if you look at her. Okay. Okay. One. Four. Again, two. Okay. Six. Five one. And five one. And five one. There she is again. Maybe she always does that. One. Yep, then it goes up. Maybe I can just leave. Maybe I can just leave. Don't worry about me. there. Maybe I need to do the other stuff first. What? Hey! Hey, Timmy, is that you? Oh, shit. Oh, that means. Timmy! Timmy, don't trust that freak! Timmy! circles? Not going in circles. Wait. What? Timmy? I am going in circles. Fuck. Timmy! I'll save you!
I think I have to do the other thing first, so we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to live. Okay. Poor Timmy, I don't think he's gonna be okay. Poor Timmy, I don't think he's gonna be okay. Poor Timmy, 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 Timmy is dead. Timmy, 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 Timmy is dead. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Lisa, dead. God, you're alright. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, they had me do the run around. Oh god. Hi. The power of Christ compels you, please. Lisa? Lisa, that's Lisa. Oh fuck. Oh, oh god. Lisa, let's get out of here. I don't like this anymore. Oh, fuck. I would be smoking right now, too. I could tell. Okay, I don't know if I want to be the one to stay. Need a place to stay? We'll be fine. You gonna be good? I sense another demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Wait, is that when I have to do the thing? game people play, apparently. I think I have to do it now. I hope you guys like Elevator Game. This is a real game that people play. I hope you like it. Good night, Yosh. I'm sleepy. Good night, Suma. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Okay. Fine. 
everything's fine. Okay. This again. Floor one. It's officially November now. I mean, as of like an hour ago, but I just noticed now. Six. I wonder if I should print a bunch of Yosh Polaroid. That'd be interesting. Would I look good in a Polaroid? That makes it sound like a clothing piece. Ten. Let's just send to a bunch of people. Actually, I think... Didn't Kazuha do that too? I think that's what Kazuha did when she was at TwitchCon. They had a bunch of Polaroids. Of her V-Tup. And had them out to people. Getting very EP, I might have to go to bed soon. Completely understandable. I didn't mean to do this a lot earlier, I just got a little held up. Sorry about that. Seven. Five. Hello, pretty lady. Kazuha give out herself is valid. I'm just doing it look like I spread a cult poster kind of like that. <laughs> you wearing a kimono? She is. Apparently, she's based on an actual myth. Japanese myth about elevators. I'm not too sure. <laughs> My god, Amy, is that you? talking Ladies, never do this for a man. I'm telling you, he's not worth it. He's not worth this. He 
Jesus. I would. Nia, I... <laughs> I don't recommend it. No man is worth this. Not even Leon Scott Kennedy, I promise you. Oh, fuck. Or Russell Adler. They're not worth it. Please stay back. If my men want me like that, then sure, why not? We need to keep Neo away from cult related things. Do you think we can do that as like a as a community, Chadley? Can we all take a community oath to make sure Nia never never approaches cults? <laughs> ah, the things we do for love. drawn to this game but watching it gives me anxiety you and me both dame dilly dally you and me both i adore this game but god it freaks me out Ugh. god it's so loud it's intentionally very loud is it gone hey uh tiffany you okay tiffany Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany, you okay? I don't think she's okay. Well, that's awkward. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, fuck. She wasn't dead. She wasn't dead. I know I have a thing for cult lamb and dear god art, so you really do. That's good. You do good art, Nia. Oh. All right, I go bed now. Good night. Good night, cave art. Happy bye, carbohydrates. You have a good one. Well done, priest. You wasted another day aiding a worthless soul, and you got rid of Tiffany for me. Are you sure you know whose side you're on? We'll find out soon enough. Remember, Gary loves you. Thanks, Gary. She has a headache. Let her sleep it off. Oh, sorry. That's that's what I should have <laughs> should have assumed. Amnesio memory. The buttons don't work. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll jump in a hole. I'm on the seventh floor. I'm on the seventh floor. The seventh floor is real. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's Timmy. That's Timmy. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Timmy. promised me so much. I just want to see my little boy again. The replacement is almost fully formed. Just a few more bodies. Or maybe that wasn't Timmy. I don't know what the fuck that was. That's a lot of bodies, though. <clears throat> Not a fan. <clears throat> this is why we don't go to the seventh floor. I understand now. Yoshi Paper Mario when? When hell freezes over. And God has fully abandoned us.
Because then Paper Mario will return. Am I just walking in circles? I am. What happens if I walk to the right? I wonder if 7B is where Gary lives. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Also, high shape of studios. Let's go home. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be here anymore. Ah, Christ. How much time is left? Probably another hour? Next segment takes a while. No, we could leave, and that's the important part. We could drive our car home. We're so close. We're so actually I'm thinking about I think it's like gonna be another two hours. Make it save her. Let's play this out. Oh, that's who is that? I've never seen that before. What the fuck was that? What was that? I played this game how many times? I've never seen that. I didn't like that. Yeah. You're getting scared. You and me both. Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Oh God, where are they? Where are they? Where are the parents? Fucking secret boss from... That's interesting. Huh. Must look good. Hello? Not good. That painting didn't look like it. I'll follow you and quit here so I don't get nightmares. Here I go! <laughs> Fair enough. Because it only gets worse from here, so I don't Hello. blame you. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. You have a good rest of your Halloween, depending on where you are, of your November 1st. Duck. Amy, are you in here? Amy's not here. And I can't find the parents. Yeah, I don't typically be very, very spooky. Just the one spooky game I do. Got it. Oh, there it is again. I've never seen that. Have I just, like, never noticed it? Is that what happened? Amy? My mother? Oh, 
And now I wake up. <laughs> okay, that part was a, a was a flashback. October thirtieth, nineteen eighty-seven. One day until the profane Sabbath. Jay Leno has been on the air for far too long. We need to stop this. I'm not going in there. Dawn of the First Day thing anymore. It just did. A second ago. John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. television is this what Jay Leno <laughs> what the Jay Leno show is now you're in 1987 yep probably. I love watching static with the family while I see demonic images every now and then that's my favorite some hopscotch a riddle priest how do you make a portal to hell come see me and I'll show you I know how to make a portal to hell tunnels away A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T V W X Y and Z red star Ben something something Gary loves us. I think those are bodies. Yep, those are bodies of blood. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind the daughter chalices build an offering to the master of the world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar to come back to root. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you The children are dead. Weird ass stream, Kaylee. Tyler H7, Uncle Earl. Let's be eaten. 
Pink Chalice. Our family. Age. Uh. What the fuck is that? It's V1 from Ultra Kill! Oh, and also, uh, Malthus, the demon. Thanks, Satin. I killed my parents and got rich. Cool. Here, I should have photos. I don't. I thought they would save them. Okay, let's remember. Orange Moon, Pink Chalice, Blue Bird, Orange Moon, Pink Chalice, Blue. Orange Moon, Pink Chalice, Blue Bird, Orange Moon, Pink Chalice, Blue Bird. Time to go into the tunnels where the children are dying. Where it lives. Thanks. Thanks. I don't like that. What noises? If you are reading this, then congratulations! You are on your way to experiencing the wonders of our unspeakable future! Under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend! Gary, a normal human being just like you and me. As a tier one acolyte, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey! To eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death reserved for only the most worthy! To find out if you are a vessel, remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of Second Death twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. I know what's behind the door in the basement of the clinic. I've been there. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. A head priest. There into the eyes of my mother. That's your mom? Guess I'll stare. I mean, she's pretty... Did it change? Oh. Ah, oh, she looks so pretty. Yo, Gary, is your mom single? You know what? I think I'm okay. I think I changed my mind. I think I changed my mind on that one, actually. Uh, Gary, you know what? You're I'm sure your mother's a fine lady. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta Corota. This beautiful statue depicts the faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Et Mater. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Save family. We invite everyone 
reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Thank you, safe family. If you are reading this, congratulations! You have officially been granted Tier 2 status in the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Upon crossing the threshold from Tier 1 to Tier 2, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms, or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to a new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. There you are, you what are you saying? Go away. It's so noisy. They'll give his favor the low seats are made high. Five seats in the north facing west, five in the south facing east. I already know this 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 puzzle shtick. Andreas soweth discard east and west trade places. The rog stirreth his pots full of sinners that revolve. Don't worry, I know how this works. I have to come back and forth a few times, but I'll figure it out. Cool puzzle, right? Very confusing. Yeah, there he is! There he is! Is this a metaphor? Or what? I don't know. hell I'm going back in there. I literally just blocked the, the entrance to that attic room and just fucking leaving. Oh, fuck. Well, and there's the mother. Strangled with her own intestines. Isn't that fun?
Hey, Bob. Also strangled with your own intestines. In case you were wondering why they had a closed casket funeral, that's why. Yeah. Hell out of here. And somehow I'm on the other side of the gate. Hallucination. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm liver two into Moloch's hands before opening. Oh, I can do. That. I'm super good at those things. Let's see. <clears throat> Filthy acolyte. The substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to Tier 3. Gary loves you. Oh, Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh. Lovely photo of that one lady. Here we go. Easy peasy. Why did it do that? What to Estes Fuimis Talia? Uh, sure. Quad sumus eritis too. Yeah, can I can I go now? Oh fuck. Oh god. 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 Yeah, don't like that. I'm leaving. Okay, there we go. That worked. I don't know what the hell's growing out of these walls, but I don't like it. I'm just taking this and I'm going. I don't like it here. Later, losers. I don't got time for you. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, you're doing the thing again. The grabby thing. Not a fan of the grabby thing, gotta be honest. Let's play red light, green light. Ah, oh, my favorite! Oh, fuck, 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 big mouths freak you out. You and me both. I hate them. I hate how grabby their hands look. Red light, green light. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Alright. You know, I just thought about something. Something... We're at the bottom of, like, what was a daycare. And we're playing, like, children's games. I wonder if some of these demons used to be, uh, be kids. Yes, hi. Hi, yeah, yeah. Do do your do your sticky hand thing. I'm busy. Your face looks like intestines. Millisecond. Mortis. A millisecond. We're gonna mortis again. I'm just running. I'm just running. I'm just running. Yep. No. Nope. Not fucking with that. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. We're good. We're good. We got out. We're fine. 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 Everything is a okay. Everything is one for awesome. Oh, hi. It's that lady from Chapter 2. That's cool. Cool demon. Hey, I got the things you need. I got three. I did it quicker than you could possibly even imagine. Yeah, yeah. Divine sacrifice. That's all I ever care about, this divine sacrifice. You know, what what about what about my, you know, how about my day to day? I don't gotta file my taxes in the spring, you know? You are now a tier four acolyte. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own, your actions are not your own. You belong body and spirit to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer, and you experience the second death. Adios, alma perdita. Gary loves you. Partake of the dark. This part of the game. Get this over with. Maybe I should have started running if I heard when I heard that. <laughs> Maybe that should have. 
Okay, second idea. Maybe I should pull out my cross. Okay, third idea. Maybe... I should go to the right. Okay, fourth idea. I'm missing something. I am missing something. Oh, I go south. God damn it. I knew that. I knew it. I have to stay out of the dark. I know what I'm doing. Possibly. Ooh, boy. Mountain. Um. Coming round the mountain. Be coming round the mountain. Done. There's a lantern and I need it ASAP. There's a lantern and I need it ASAP. The lantern and I need it. There's a lantern. It, oh my god, it's really dark in here, oh fuck. Like it when it's dark like this at all. I don't like it when it's dark like this at all. I don't like it when it's dark like this. It's really freaky. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh. Hi, bird. Thanks. But Amy is Amy watching me. Fuck. God. Freaking bird. I eat birds. Hi, Nia. I'm going through it, don't mind me. Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? Nope, don't like that. You look like the guy from FNAF. I don't know. Oh, great. Now we're here. We're finally near the end, Chadley. Finally near the end. You're also going through it. I'm sorry you're going through it. I'm going through it too. Every day of my life. We'll get through it together, won't we? Mm -hmm. Fuck, get away from me. Can't decide which art to use as a Polaroid. I mean, I love all of your arts. There we go. We just have to get rid of these seals, and we'll be fine. your art is good, Nia. You do what feels right. I have complete faith in... Oh, God. You. Oh, there it is. Fuck. Oh, they just, they're just gonna keep coming, aren't they? I gotta go. I gotta fucking go. Is this the secret cabin? It is. Take it. Hey. 
My dearest colleague, Jacob. Thank you for the letter. I am delighted to hear that the success of your venture in Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no interest in crumbling ghost town or government experiments or the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the dark between. Such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you, they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world. This pitiful fleshy sphere, still in its infancy yet everlastingly too late to reveal. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. P.S. I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against it. Fun fact, that's a reference to Dusk, the video game. And we're going to see an enemy from Dusk. Look, there they are. Isn't that lovely? Where is it? 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 There it is. See you later, dust character. If I had the money, I would print out all of them. Print out the most sus ones. <laughs> I'm sure you would, Nia. I'm sure you would. You live your truth. Okay, I think I follow... Not quite sure, to be honest. Um... Fuck. Oh, God. Get away from me, please. Okay, going down. Same one, am I? I totally am, damn it. That sound possessive, but I love my yell. <laughs> you are appreciated, Nia. Pat Pat. You are a great kindness in the darkness that is this part of the game. Oh, hello. I ran into another one. Fuck. Follow these so I know which one this one was. was the right one. Let's go down. No, this just takes me... Takes me to the entrance. Okay, I need to follow up, but I may have gotten lost on the way? I'm guessing? Not sure. There's just one more. One or two more. Ah, here we go. for me. There we go. Please be the last one. 
Oh, thank God. I'm getting the hell out of here. Ah, okay, that was... <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, hold on. I'm getting the hell out of here. Woo-wee. You really want to open this door? No. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, hello. Hey, cultists. Hey, it's me. It's, uh, it's the priest. Yeah. Priest. How do you make a portal to hell? That's a good question. I'll add some. Might pause. I think I'm doing a better job at not dying. It's a note. Here while we wait. My for has to clear up. <laughs> Kazuha is the one who inspired me to maybe like actually wait whenever we hit um things ads I never really thought about it before but I was like you know what that's a good point so we're gonna do that ha 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 he he ho ho ad break ended your community is back thank god I missed them I missed my Chadley so fucking much I was alone and scared I hope you guys are ready for fucking peak endings, by the way. I adore this game's ending. Sometimes it waits for someone who has already walked through it. Cult members are turning into fucking flesh... something. Sometimes it opens itself inside the best darkest room where nobody can find it. Cool. And sometimes... It gets when you guard up to you. That does it. The twins! Hello, Tom! It's nice to finally meet you! Lord, help me! Somebody please help me! I hear thee. John, son of man, what dost thou wish? This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. And the girl? I just want to go home. If I leadest thou to safety, Her fate shall be sealed upon thine head. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. Swear it. I swear it. And that was the original mistake John made. He ran away instead of saving Amy when he probably could have. October 31st, 1987, the profane Sabbath. We're finally here, Chadley. My name is Gary Miller. So you're the one behind all this. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> nice words. Well, you have come this far. 
I suppose you deserve some action. Fine, you can try quest young, but no more. Damn. Well. By the way, I heard a fun fact. Or a fun theory. About that voice that came to John when he was begging to get out of that situation. There's a theory going around that wasn't God at all. Probably some demonic force. All a trick. The injection. Can you tell me about the injection? A gift to prepare your mind and body for the unspeakable to enter. You could not withstand its presence without it. Oh, uh, cool. Was a long test, priest. You should defend me. What about what about the boys? Where are they? Did they not exist? Vessel is changing to sacrifice. Despair? Are we not chatting? I think you have stood in my way long enough. Time for you to finally build before the power of the unspeakable. You will make a fine sacrifice. Unguarded deed. Oh fuck, no! Right across! He said the thing! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh god. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck. No, Gary. Okay, we're fine. What are they kissing? I don't know. I think in the, in the secret ending. Maybe we should have gone for the secret ending where they make out. What the fuck is that? Oh, God. Uh, okay, we're fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Ow! Ha! I don't like that. Oh, fuck. How do I, how do I, how do I? How do I? I can't, I couldn't avoid the spiders. <laughs> no, we're fine. Please. Don't be afraid, kid. It's him. It's Father Garcia, my man. I, Father Garcia, it's good to finally meet you. Good to meet you too. Finally, someone brings a gun with more than one bullet. They're not afraid. Look, I'm just saying, in any situation, always trust a priest with a shotgun. This is the ghost in love, the profane sabbath, the source of the demonic activity. Wait, did I for listen ending? This is the old, the old holy trinity, the 
I think I missed something. Oh, I can't do the Secret bosses that we've done so far. There was the one in the clinic. The one. Oh, I think I missed a secret boss in the last area underneath the preschool. Oh god. <coughs> oh wait, I know what I'm supposed to do. Fuck. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the Oh god. Thank you, Father Garcia. We was at the end where we make out with the other priest. Oh god. Oh. Thank you, Father Garcia. That's okay, because I think it gives me a chance to do another ending. At least we stopped them for now. God. This is a, the good ending, but it's not the true ending. Handshake. Damn. Yeah, last year I did the true ending where we had to do one final boss fight, and that one's fucked. But I'll take this ending. We can get all endings together. Just over the years, what do you guys think? I love this game a lot. It's great. It's just a good vibe. I wanted to do some more special things for this. For this stream, but... We ran out of time, unfortunately. There's never enough time in the world, Chadley. And don't worry. We'll do it next year. <laughs> and hopefully now, if you're here and you witnessed all this, now you know why I have Mortis as an emote. I just like it. I like it a lot. I'm going back for the thing you said you missed. Nah. 
We don't need to. We got a good ending. Hold on. I definitely missed one thing. One end boss. No, you know what we can do? I'm gonna show you guys a different ending. I did it! Hooray! We stopped Satan for, I guess, a few more minutes. That's great. Aw, oh, thank you for the subscription, Miss Katie Cat. I appreciate it. And for the polygonals. Also, the music is fucking great. Yosh, are you ending? Just about. Just about. Also, hi, Milk Fairy. How are you? I hope you were doing well. Also, congratulations on graduating! Sorry, I, I don't think I got to, you know, respond to your tweet. So I was just like, oh my god. Good job. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Okay, I was going to drop my viewers over, but if I want, if you're going to head out. Oh, I appreciate the thought. I appreciate it. But you have a good one. And I hope your raiders have fun. Wherever they end up going. <laughs> Have a happy Halloween. Oh, I guess not Halloween anymore. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the gifts of the milk fairy. Thank you, Miss Katie Cat. Yeah, milk berry is really cool too. If you want to check her out, she does a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> Vinny and Jesse Cox. One up, Indy. I believe that Vinny is Vinny Weinsus. That's right. Two hours later, we finally got through the credits. Thank you for playing. But thank you all, Chadley, for joining me for a game that I enjoy very, 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 very much. To the point that I play this every year. Because why not? Why not? You know what? I'm going to say it next year. Let's go for the good Christian boy. Fortnite. Not Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite is not the game. It's not the game I want to play every year. Although I feel like I play it once a year. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. It's very good. It even has like a bunch of like... Survival mode. Like, you could literally do a boss rush if you want. Actually, hey, do you guys want to see me take on every demon at once? Why don't we do that? Actually, let's 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 not do that. <laughs> how, about, how about we don't do that? <laughs> da -da 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 I died in four seconds. Hooray! <laughs> I love dying in four seconds. That was terrifying. It was wonderful. Yeah, I don't know what conjuration mode is gonna be. I guess we'll find I didn't need to do the credits. It's 
Well, now we can say we did all all the chapters. I only missed two notes. I almost have all the all the. No oh wait, hold on. What notes did I miss from chapter two? Thirty-five. I guess I'll have to figure that out another day. Yeah, the last time we did a uh, marathon mode, that um, that was when we got the true ending. But at last, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've done the stream. Everything's fine. And now we can close the game. <laughs>